the idea when Art Design Chicago asks us, like, you know, do you want to do something? And of course we do exhibitions, so it will be exhibition, but what will be the different about this? I think this is maybe the first historical exhibition. So even the art objects that are here are historical objects. So when I start working here, I organize the archive. When I start thinking about the exhibition, I already know exactly what to show. Well, I love this kind of show where yeah. you can dig through archival materials and place things from the permanent collection to tell the story of the development of the museum. There is like a few of my like favorites. There's like some really right crazy things that yeah. you dug up. So this is like the letter from the KKK, what was put on the door. I was astounded to see this, that the Ku Klux Klan yeah. A, you know, has a bitch with this museum and with you. Was this in response to any uh, particular exhibition? So because until this day, we get the hate mail from like all kinds of fascist parties or like Nazis or something like that. There is something with the politics. So, so I collect all those and I have a special file for it. So this is the earliest one. Wow. This is a uh, Lala Kuchma. She's right here. She was one of the first people who was involved in the institute, and she working with the uh, tapestry, with the textile. And this is a portrait of the first curator of the Ukraine Institute of Modern oh, really? Art. Yeah. Well, I don't know what is the definition of outsider, but he was like self-taught artist and curator. So there is not that many of them. So that's remind me because I am also. I think they're more than you think. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the founders, Konstantin Milonadis. Yeah, we definitely need to show. Really beautiful. Oh. Show one of his pieces because he's the founder. That's a spectacular piece. So let's go in here. That's 1972. Yeah, that was all volunteers. They didn't, they didn't do it for money, they did it for fun. You know, Chicago artists, they went to the uh, School of Art Institute of Chicago, so they know what is like the art now, you know. So that was kind of outsider inside of the Ukrainian community, because many people didn't understand it, like, what is this? And this is by Alexandra Kochman. She was also here from the beginning, and she worked with the ceramic. I want to mention that I co-curate this show with the Robin Luzen. Mm -hmm. uh, did you, did your show cooperate with somebody or did it by No, yourself? I uh, co-curated it with mm -hmm. um, Kenneth Burkhardt. Mm -hmm. We just, you know, had parallel thinking and a lot of fun doing it. over the years, board members and others would think, you know, we've got to move, we got to, you know, the museum has to be in a more, you know, vibrant neighborhood, you know. There were lots of holdouts saying, no, this neighborhood is just where we want to be. We want to be in the hood. We also were near transportation. Yeah. It's like really quick from downtown. And all of a sudden, the neighborhood's completely ex yeah. exploding. Yeah, the neighborhood moved, and, um, But I think um, there's this, kind of uh, parallel or similarity to the Ukrainian Museum or Institute uh, in being in the neighborhood where it belongs. <laughs> yeah, like I, I cannot imagine like any other place no, for the Ukraine Institute. No, no. It needs to be in Ukraine village. For 30 local collection. Wow, that's a big project. Uh, I always like Outsider artist, that's like my favorite. I think every artist should be outsider. There are a few versions of intuitive, outsider, mm -hmm. folk artists. There is slightly differences. There are differences, yeah. Self-taught is yeah. not great because all artists are self-taught to a certain extent. Yeah, how you measure it, you know, how you make it like who is outsider. I consider myself outsider artist, mm -hmm. but what does that mean? There was some documentary about that. Mm -hmm. And they was asking some outsider artists, like, are you considering yourself outsider artist? And one artist said, oh, no, now I have a studio. I'm not outsider anymore. <laughs> and he thought that he's like, 
painting outside. Right, right. <laughs> These are pieces by Mr. Imagination, who was very creative as a young kid. He lived in the Robert Taylor homes on the south side. He'd use all manner of, of ordinary materials that um, were ripe for reusing. Yeah. I totally Strongly. understand, you know, the pleasure of making this. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like a perfect, you know, like, uh, satisfaction. Just to kind of overstate the Chicago case a little bit, or the Chicagoness of, of these artists. This is a uh, carving by Mr. Imagination of the Chicago skyline. Mm -hmm. Very specifically didn't want to shoehorn artists into a curatorial premise, you know, come up with a premise and, and make them fit it. But by looking at many, many collections and lots and lots of work, the work you know, just spoke to us and the connections yeah. and um, yeah, relationships. Yeah, some, sometimes just, there is no reason how to explain happen. something with the words. Yeah. It's just this piece needs yeah. to be there. This and needs I don't to know be. why, but needs to be there. It's also um, exciting for us because this show is traveling to four European venues. We go to Paris and then to Heidelberg, then to Lausanne, Switzerland, and then to Amsterdam. As you mentioned in your curatorial process, sometimes things don't work out exactly the way you want. So this didn't um, work quite the way of, of landscapes moving up that we originally wanted to, but you got to work with the art yeah. when you get it. So we changed things around a bit. Looks good. That's the thing, some things you only see, you know, mm -hmm. like me, I just, you know, it's perfect. Yeah, it feels good. Thank <laughs> you.